All right, what's up YouTube? Today I want to talk about um, how to be a good teammate. Um, I see a lot on Twitter and Discord that just a bunch of drama going on. Uh, I'm dropping him because of this. I want to I want to leave this troop because of this and all this stuff. And I, I, I haven't really seen the YouTube video out here at least recently but a good youtube video that talks about how to be a good teammate and i'm not i'm not talking about like the skill level or the talent i'm just talking about overall vibes how, how when to say this when to say that how to react to certain like situations in trio and that's what i kind of want to talk about today the reason the reason is uh making this video is because uh fncs trios is coming up so we, we have a big tournament where it takes a lot of a lot of teammates a lot of team works um going into it um and then all all throughout the the whole year of 2021 it's going to be trios so um overall if you have a good if you have a good teammate even though you're not the best in the world someone might want to play with you just because you have that good vibes and you know how to be a good teammate so uh, that's the reason i'm going to make this trio i have some no notes here um but basically how i broke it down is basically just three first when finding a teammate or in finding your teammates whatever whatever your situation is you need to you need to know the trio you need to look look at them be like hey what's your goals what's your schedules looking like and know them as a person the best thing the best thing to do this is hop in a discord call with them maybe play some arena duos arena trios whatever the case may be and just know them you know if if little timmy can only play you know two days out of the out of the five tournaments you know do you really want them uh, to me i mean to me i just want all day grinders and obviously yes i want them to take breaks and mental health is a huge thing and all that um it's good to take breaks just remember you don't if, if a guy wants to play six out of seven days eight hours a day that's really good obviously if you want to if you want to look for 24 7 grinders you could but you know mental breaks are a huge thing but yeah that's step one is just know your trio know, know, know the schedules and if that if it passed the vibe test you know it's all about vibes be supportive be positive um i think you'll make a good trio two is um when something goes bad don't immediately blame your teammates so like if someone if someone like comes up to your box and then you see a huge mistake into the into uh, what your teammate just did don't just immediately like lash them out you know just be like oh why do you do this why do you do this and, and it, it makes them feel like you don't really care about them you just want to win and uh, yeah i mean everyone you got to think at the the rule of game and the rule of the trios and all that you got to remember everyone wants the same outcome they want to win right so uh, lashing out is not going to um positive at, at the end of the day it's just going to portray you as a negative person like if I my trio day and Merrill, right? If I keep on telling day, hey, hey, don't do this, don't do that, and I and I just lash them out every single thing, on stream, off stream, whatever. They, we're gonna split one day, and days like never play with this dude to his other friends because he does this, he's negative, and that's just gonna hurt you in the long run. Um, but basically, yeah, just never lash out to your teammates. It's just bad. Um, uh, you saw clips before uh, Fiber and Tifu clip. That's a perfect example. Like you never want to do that. Tifu Fiber did a stupid mistake that he should have never done. Bro, what the. F what are you doing, Fiber? I don't, I, dude. I don't say shit when some, when he does a bad play. Oh, but it's always my fault. Fakest little kid I've ever played with. Keep talking, and you're like the thing is you're streaming. But at the end of the day, it happens. You know, we're humans. We make mistakes. And at the end of the day, remember, Fiber wants to win. He obviously, he doesn't want them to die off spawn like they did and see me. Um, but he made a huge mistake going off the kid's wall, and Tifu literally just bashed him all over even on social media it's like bro like what are you doing you know a uh, perfect example of like just i don't know it's just lashing sucks i'm gonna show you guys this clip real quick this clip right here this is um this trio is sebi and douche and nico looks like they're playing trio scrims the go, quality go might right. be a little bad go, go left, go left, go left, go um you get so pandush gets headshots not going right and then go left, go left. I, I don't know Why who's talking going? Look how free left was. If you just went left instead of going right, we would have been all alive. Go free this shit. I'm literally running around in the open right now. Literally. See that right there? He's like, he go, starts. Go right. We should go. Go left. He starts blaming Pandus for going right, right? Instead of going left. Yes, the, the, the major call or the perfect call for this is to go left side, right? Because the left side is more free. But at the same time, Pandus doesn't want to die. You know, he just, he's just trying to make the call at the end of the day. He thinks that right side's the best. So that's why they go right. He gets headshot sniped. And obviously that's just unfortunate. But then W or Nico, I don't know who's talking. They say go left at the very end. And then I watch this clip. If you watch this clip further on, said he's talking about, we never play an end game. I'm, I'm getting triggered, blah, blah, blah. Like, why do you go this? What, why? And it's like, at the end of the day, you got to also golden rule whatever if you just watch this video and take nothing out of it just remember the golden rule is your teammates want to win they have the same goal as you and they want to do the best that they can so at the same time pandush thinks that going right is the best scenario in the moment obviously it's not but he gets headshot sniped and he doesn't want to die you know and then sebi just like kind of just bashes him on it 
and that's not what that's not what you what you want to do um because then it, it, like if you look at his face like other guys like he's he's just frustrated the same the same uh level as, as nico or sebi whoever's like kind of like lashing out on him but just remember that everyone has the same goals so with that, that was sub number two. Number three is VOD review. VOD review is huge. After scrims, preferably what I'd like to do is you don't VOD review with your teammates, VOD review by yourself and then bring it up later in like a group chat, whatever they have. VOD reviewing with your teammates is super beneficial um, right after scrims, just because you can hear what they were thinking, right? Like game three, game three at 12 minutes in, I'll be like, yo, Maron Day, wh what went wrong here? And they're like, yo, I thought this has happening. It's like, nah, that what that didn't happen. This happened, you know. It's like, so if you if you need a VOD review by yourself, do it. But VOD review with your teammates, if so, lashing like, like lashing out right here in, in the Sebi and Pandu's clip. Um, what you want to see is Sebi or Nico, whatever the one was lashing out on, bring it up later in the VOD review, right? If you're frustrated with them, yes, you are frustrated, but bring it up, bring it up later. You know, you never want to bring it up like on stream or so it gets clipped and put on social media. It's just a whole drama thing. And then with the orgs, orgs don't like to see that with their players. Stuff like that so just bring it up later if you have to if you want to yell just bring it up later or just meet your bike and yell that's what Mero does all the time we, we get we died us one Mero literally deafens because he knows we're streaming and he just yells you know it, it, it just happens and, and that's way better than just lashing out on on stream um one main thing you want you don't want to do as well is don't call your teammates dumb a lot of people because they want the same output as you don't call your teammates dumb because at the end of the day they're not going to trust you like later on in the games and overall it's just going to lead to your trio splitting up um but that's the major one but uh, vod review yeah so, so <clears throat> during the games during when, when you're vod reviewing don't call your teammates dumb they'll call them names be like hey why did this happen so we can fix it later on you know what happened here so we make sure during the later games that we're playing that won't happen again or it'll be a different outcome so when you're when you're talking about this uh with your teammates and stuff don't expect coming out of the vod review that they're gonna be just gods. If I go into a VOD review with Dan Merrill and they're like, and I was like, yo, never do this again, we're good, right? I'm not gonna expect Day to never, I'm like, I'm not gonna expect him to never just make that mistake again. Um, they're humans, that's the end of the day, they want the best outcome and then it's it's hard to break a habit if it is a habit problem. So never expect it. So we expect that they were they, they are gonna get better at it over time, but give it some time. Time uh, practice makes perfect at the end of the day. One other thing that I have is uh don't expect or don't sit on a dying plant. And that basically means like if I go to day and like day keeps on making this mistake over and over and over and over and he never fixes it. And like just don't don't expect him to keep don't expect him just to fix it one day. Drop him if you have to, right? Drop a player if you have to. Um, if you don't see eye to eye, if you, if you keep on making the mistake over and over, um, if he talks bad about you guys, just drop him. You know, at the end of the day, just drop him and say, and then don't drop and say like, oh, he's terrible, never play with him, blah, blah, blah. Just say, hey, we don't play, we don't, we don't see the eye to eye and we're going to look for other options. That's all you got to put. That's all you got to say. He would get the idea and he's just got to move on. And then if you are getting dropped, do the same thing. Look, yo, I understand, you know, good luck in the future. That's all you guys got to say. And that's going to, Put some respect on your name put respect on their name so it's easier to find teammates going forward so like right here if if i if i got dropped by day and marrow right and i was like yo marrow's trash they trash they dropped me blah blah and that's that's what that's what did happen you know they dropped me because i wasn't grinding as much and blah blah i i didn't go out of the way and say day and marrow sucks right because they're one of the best fight or they are you know arguably one of the best fighting um people in the game i said yeah i understand i'm good luck to you guys you know and whenever whatever happens happens and that's a perfect example of don't take anything personal take it as you know just a business opportunity for for other things other like teammates i guess to help you out and don't burn bridges like if i would if i would if maryland they dropped me and i'd be like yo they suck blah blah they would never cheer out with me again like we were doing now so just don't burn bridges because you never know you know and you never know what's gonna hop up a day is really really good they dropped me i said yo good luck go ahead um then they came back to me i'm like yo i'm down the trio again you know and we won fncs i'm down to run it back and that's just that's just a perfect example of just not lashing out on them when they dropped me also not lashing out in like the games that we had it's just not never to burn a bridge always keep them at the best um scenario ever i want to share a clip real quick Here's two examples of not lashing out at people and also being a good teammate overall when it's happening and then reacting to it. So you either don't get dropped, don't split apart, just keeping your trio together as long as possible and, and working on the situation. So right here, C Spade and um, I can't remember the third. Oh, Scrubs. Scrubs. They died. So C go back in the replay and see what's happening. Did 
dude scrubs bro dude, okay so see like right there so c's went back in the replay after the that and it's scream it looks like and you can hear it in his voice that he's frustrated right and more people and if you're not streaming blah blah a lot of people are gonna be like yo scrubs what are you doing this is a bad call never do this again blah blah and c's what i liked about him is he didn't lash out he just like he just kind of sighed me did his mic and like talked to chat again and he might bring this he should bring this up in body view later um he's like yo sees or yo scrubs i saw this later or earlier in the games that we should never do this you know blah blah, blah. yes i get it that it happens right but it, it's a good way not to lash out during the time you just react to it you just move on next scrim next game bring it up later in the body review um here's another here's another clip that they want to talk right after scrims or right after this game Oh, what? you should have threw me back. You should have threw me back. <sighs> My god. I didn't know that wall was even open. Did you know it was open? That's Shubs? so dumb. What? Did you know the wall was open? I thought you guys wiped the trio. Nah. You should have threw me back in that little brick base you had. So that was a, that was a perfect um perfect clip there um of C's the same trio C scrubs and uh whoever uh, I can't remember the spade instead of instead of when they die they don't argue right away like yo Cease what are you doing here what are you doing here and like oh I'm so over this game I'm getting off for tonight right they don't do that they when they die either go back and replay and see what's happening and bring it up later in a VOD review or when they die and they talk it out they were um spade and scrubs right there were talking about saying did you know that wall was um edited or missing. You should have threw me back here. No, they didn't really get into an argument. They're just going, they're just going back and forth, seeing what, what went wrong. Yeah, and that's basically it. Like the end of the day, man. Be respectful. Be nice. You don't want, you don't want your name out there. Don't take anything personal. Don't burn bridges. If you get drops, say good luck. Move forward. If, if you're dropping him, saying hey, it's not working out. Just you know, we're looking for other options. You know, don't lash out on people. Don't call them dumb. Don't call them stupid for this or that. You know, at the end of the day, just remember, you guys are always, always trying to win you guys have the same goals at, at, in the moment they think this is right so they do it it was wrong in the end don't lash them out just say hey we're doing this later you know so just remember that you all want to win um just be supportive you know and i think that i mean that's it really being a teammate it's just being a good guy Right, just pass the vibe test being a good guy at the end of the day i think if you if you master all those skills and obviously it's going to take some time but i think if you do it you, you'll have a good good outlook at, and at the end so anyways that's how you be a good teammate if you like the video subscribe like whatever comment you want um if you if you do have comments i will i will read them and see if you guys have questions or whatever just um comment down below and, I, and i'll answer them as best of my ability um and i'll make more youtube videos if you guys do like this stuff like i have some more like aim training or aim how to be a good aim how to rotate blah blah and we'll, we'll we'll do that when the youtube comes when this year comes along um right now it's fncs for me so but yeah if you guys like it just like and subscribe and uh thank you guys